We will now evaluate the abstract. So I launch Swan again, and in the main menu, I go to the quick start. Uh, now notice that uh, when you go back to the main menu and do a fresh quick start, you actually lose whatever you did before, which is why it's always important, if you know you're going to go back to it and analyze later on different parts of the paper, to actually save your work. So I did actually save it, so let me just load it. And so I loaded it on the desktop, and uh, I think I called it my paper. There you go, my paper. And open, and then it will bring back everything I did on the title. So let's move to the abstract. Abstract is blank, so we're going to highlight the abstract and copy it. And paste it in this window. All right. So, not much to do in this one. It's quite straightforward, actually. Uh, what you will do is click in any of these sentences here. Okay? So, uh, anywhere, it doesn't matter, but the whole sentence will highlight. Once uh, you click within the sentence, then you have to indicate what is the role of this sentence, and you have one, two, three, four, five different choices here uh, to indicate its role. So, in this case, it's important to development, so fine, this is a background, okay? We show a simple method uh, by combining, so that would, that would be the main objective of the research. Uh, the next one, uh, that would be more of the methodology. Uh, this one would be more of a result, and uh, this one is still is the result. And this one is kind of interesting because uh, this one and maybe the last one would be the impact of the research, okay? And so that's it. We've highlighted every single sentence uh, and the title is still processed. So we're going to start the evaluation, but it's going to do the evaluation of everything altogether, actually the title and the abstract. And you will see why in a minute. Okay. So we still have a uh, the title, but if you remember, if you remember from uh, looking at the title video, there is now a new uh, evaluation that comes up here in the title, which is hmm, there seems to be a disconnection between your title and your abstract, thereby making it difficult for the reader. So you can see that Swan evolves, and as you add parts of the paper, particularly if you do the full evaluation and you add the structure of the paper, you will have more information on the quality of your title. So in this case, it says, well, I found the word micro nano in the title, but I never found these words in the abstract. So if they're that important that they should be in the title, how come they're not in the abstract? Okay, so question for you to think about. Let's go back to the abstract. It says, well, you have words in your title that I am not using the abstract. And so we have looked at that as well. Um, we have uh, found adjectives here, uh, which are in the abstract. And usually, usually, unless they're very specific adjectives, like in this case, polycarbonate is a, used as an adjective or thermal, but are, these are very specific adjectives, no problem. Otherwise, um, adjectives should be rare in the abstract because the abstract should justify the adjective used in uh, the title. So if you find selective here again, uh, in the abstract, that means I actually you have not mentioned has selective, and uh, that means that your abstract is really there's a little bit of a problem here. Adjectives are great, they're great shortcuts to put in title, but the adjectives make claims, and these claims should be justified for the reader as early as possible. So you would see this kind of problem here in the evaluation of the abstract. You have keywords not present in your title. Now, this, these are keywords found in the abstract, but not found in the title. Swan so is, and they appeared at least twice. So Swan so is just warning you, mm, if these keywords come back often in your abstract, should they be in the title? I mean, this is really up to you uh, to decide, but Swan so just uh, uh, highlight potential uh, problems in your title. 
and uh, no number could be found in your abstract. Actually, remember, uh, when it said selective, um, maybe that we could have given something, maybe numerical, to identify what selective means. So an abstract is usually very precise. Okay. So pretty much, it in this case, it's a number of questions, and then uh, that's a benefit of SWAN. So next, we're going to look at the introduction of a paper. But first, I'm going to um, ask SWAN uh, to pretty much save my work in my paper, so that I have both the title and the abstract saved together. Okay.